a month-long journey. How big can a 100 grams bass grow to help our fish thrive? We built an echo tank paradise, plus a worm compost feast. Protein for our fishy champ. Back to day one. Let's see what happened. Our bass, fresh from the wild. A tiny 100 grams fish, just 100 grams light. Housed in a temp tank, its dream home wasn't ready for space to grow. We crafted a huge tank with a custom stand and a sleek frame. Sand laid the foundation. Now for the decor. Rocks and driftwood vibe. Pillars of this fishy palace. Right side felt too empty. So we added a PVC pipe, a tunnel for base fun. Volcanic rocks joined in, guarding the pipe like pros. Porous rocks, perfect for friendly bacteria to thrive. Three water plants added. Roots tough against base attacks, built to survive our fishy tornado. The biggest plant, chills in a cozy pot. Tank decor, nailed it. Time to add water. Next up, filter and pump installed. For oxygen and clear water. Keeping the tank pristine, our base looks happy. Gliding like a water pro. Eyes gleam like obsidian. Always watching the scene. This fish isn't picky. It'd even chomp my fingers. Food talk time. We're spoiling this base. Two echo tanks set up. Just for its snacks. Wild minnows. Fresh daily. Live bait on tap. Plus a worm box. More protein for our star. One week later. Water stabilized perfectly. But then, biofoam on the driftwood. No stress. It's normal. Fine for our aquatic palace. Time for base's new home. Catching it. Tough mission. This fish is clever. And super fast. After some fails. Caught it in a corner. Now, adjust to new water. Meanwhile, added a sponge filter. Plus old tank driftwood. And rocks it loved. Move them over to feel like home. Less stress for our base, helping it settle fast. At first, Bass was super cautious. Totally expected, so we kept things calm. Less stress, happier fish. Stays chill. Helps you us track its vibe. But soon, it lingered in one spot. Acting hesitant and nervous. Not our bold base. Tossed in a guppy to test. Big mistake. Maybe not. In a flash. Guppy was gone nom nom. Next few days, bass was thriving. Eating like a pro. Tiny bait fish, too small. Not enough for our beast. So, we stocked up. Grabbed 50 more minnows. They're in the feeder tank. Hoping they'll multiply fast. Hours later. One minnow didn't make it. A snail munched its remains. Snails clean up nature. But they're super slow. Dead fish can ruin water quality. Bad for our tank vibes. Enter our tank guardian. The blue crayfish. A cleanup superstar. Devouring bait and dead fish. Even plant scraps vanish. Meanwhile, bass explores its tunnel. Pausing mid-tunnel sometimes. Gills gently moving. Feeling the flow. Water rushing through pipe ends. Bass craves live prey. Pellets, not its style. So, minnows get pellets, packed with top-notch nutrition. When base eats them, it gets those nutrients. A sneaky hack for our fishy king. Live prey, balanced diet win-win. Ensures epic growth. Fuels its hunting instincts, while delivering top nutrients. Genius plan, right? Minnows stuffed with food, a few lucky ones picked. For their final mission. Days later, daily minnows keep it sharp. Honing its hunting skills, sometimes I dangle food to leap. With training, its hunting speed soared. Seven fish gone in 50 seconds. Today, we mixed it up. Three worms for a change. At first, not thrilled, maybe tasting gourmet worms. 
after a few tries. Worms are its new faith. But then, algae invaded like a villain. Bad for bass growth. Clogging filters, stressing plants. Not the tank vibe. In other tanks, snails and shrimp fix algae. But here, no way bass would snack them. So, we called in the Plecker. Our algae busting tank hero. It cleans tank walls. Eats scraps and organic gunk. Keeps the ecosystem balanced. It's tough shell. Laughs off base attacks. Once released, it hid behind a cave. Minutes later, bass attacked full force. Pleco, totally chill. Like it's on vacation. Soon enough, bass started to relax. Realizing this foe wasn't easy prey. Not like its usual snacks. After some tussles, maybe tired out, bass retreated to its tunnel. Days later, they're cool. No more fishy fights. Now tank mates, respecting each other's space. Pleco's cleaning skills shine. Algae's vanishing fast. Plants look healthier too. Downside, poopy tank bottom. Clean up time. Let's weigh our base star. How much has it grown? Results are in. Half a pound now. Doubled its weight. Just the start, folks. Next, tweaking the feeding plan to bulk it up. Aiming for a pound soon.